Hi, I'm Logan Crawford and welcome to the NFT Studio 24 podcast interview. NFT Studio 24 is a global media website dedicated to empowering the emerging world of decentralization, blockchain, metaverse, NFT and crypto by reporting on the latest and most authentic news. We interview various figures to highlight their expertise and contributions to the industry to educate our global audience. NFT Studio 24 will soon be launching a Metaverse for All campaign in Africa, Japan, Pakistan, and India to help educate 3 million people, especially young students and adult learners about Web3 and Metaverse. We believe education is the key to development, so NFT Studio 24 is offering certificates of experience and research to learners. Simply sign up with NFT Studio 24, read and research different case studies on nftstudio24.com, pass the exam, and you will receive a certificate in the future. On today's episode, we have an amazing guest, Keith Buzzy, who is the founder of Masterbrews, a Web3 based consulting and blockchain development firm. Keith has worked in the online industry as a techpreneur for 20 years. He has helped many companies in the field of commerce, dating, and mobile gaming. Master Brews is a member of Blockchain Game Alliance, an organization dedicated to promoting blockchain in the gaming industry. We are delighted to have Keith on the show today. Keith, thanks so much for joining us here today. Thanks, Logan. Pleasure to be here. You know, we love doing this. One of the benefits of being part of the BGA. So we're happy to, to be here with, you know, through them and with you guys at NFT Studio 24. We appreciate it. Looking forward to picking your brain today. And I'll start with this. You know, you have extensive background. 20 years is unheard of in this field. Your background's in gaming. Tell us how blockchain gaming is different from traditional gaming and why you decided to join the Web3 gaming industry. Um, so I think one of the most exciting points to me is that I get to come in on the ground floor at an early level. Uh, my entire career, I've only worked with startups, love joining startups and helping form startups, love the culture, love the excitement, love the ups and downs. So it's really something where I felt like I was not old enough to be a pioneer in the real gaming industry. Um, you know, I was a little bit too young for it, maybe by a few years, but now I get that chance here um, as a gamer all my life. It's something where I've always had a passion for it. And whether it's tabletop games, card games, social games, whatnot. Um, so I've always wanted to be one. You know, it's part of my creativity where I have a long list of things I'd love to do in life. And I've been able to start knocking some of them out, not from a business perspective. Um, they've never tied in. Um, you know, I've done things like had a rock bar. I've had a wrestling promotion. I've done things that I was passionate about that were never long term like business plans. Um, and I can say that building a video game was one of them. And I never would have thought it possible until we entered the blockchain, you know, Web3 space. So now it's not just possible, it's a reality. It's making a lot of dreams come true. Blockchain gaming is, however, a relatively new industry. How's your company developing or contributing rather to its development? So we take two different approaches. One is that we have two actual games themselves in development. And they're both at different stages. Um, so currently, you know, we're raising funds to get a nice runway to do everything we have planned. Um, but we do have a playable demo for one of them named Walps. We do have another project with Marvel DC artist Mark McKenna that's called Heroes and Villains. Different style games, um, both in development with different studios. Kind of a don't put all your eggs in one basket type thing. And as on the other side, on the tech side, which is our forte, we're building some blockchain as a service products as we speak. So those are um, rather new, they're in development right now. We don't wanna go into too much detail about them until we're kind of fully sure the prototypes are ready, everything works the way we want it to work. But we can say that those are services that no one's really doing right now in the space. We find they're lacking. And from talking to a lot of traditional video game companies and even Web2 companies in general, it is one of the barriers preventing them from jumping over and entering. So we do think we have a solution to one of those um, major problems. And we think it has a ton of potential. So for that, we're going to be very happy to share details as soon as we uh, get a little further along in its development. But that's kind of our our core focus right now. Um, but in general, it's just, yeah, building tech, helping people. Um, at this point, as we're networking and talking to a lot of people, it's all about kind of helping people see a bigger picture too. Um, I realize a lot of people 
that are new to the space because it is new you know even a year experience in this space is like 10 anywhere else um so i feel at this point we're almost two years in at master brews and we have done so much variety of projects variety of code talked to so many people and had a lot of clients with different needs um it's not something a lot of others can say so i think our experience um is invaluable and you know now we're hoping to share that with people and kind of get everyone moving forward together so Absolutely. What are some of the challenges new game studios or developers face in Web3 and how do you help them? Um, so I think if, you know, there's two ways to talk about it. If you are a brand new person to the space, don't have a past history in video gaming. I'm not going to lie, it's extremely difficult, um, you know, on different fronts. One of them obviously would be the funding financial aspects. The second is on the team. The third is on building relationships. Um, those are all things you have to get done or you're not going to go anywhere. And even if you are established, there's still difficult things you got to put a lot of time and effort into. Um, so I would say my best recommendation is, yeah, you know, join places like the BGA or other associations. Um, look at places like NFT Studio 24. Try to get as many opportunities as you can to get as much interaction with people in the space as you can. That's going to be your by far best route. And, um, your best source of help as well for, you know, even if it's bouncing an idea off someone who hopefully will tell you the hard truths and tell you um, that's an awesome idea, but it won't work for this reason or this reason, or we've already gone through this. Um, sometimes some people need to hear that right before they waste their their savings or six months of their life or a year of their life or more. So it's definitely something um, the space is very open about. And a lot of people, because it is a small community still, a lot of people are here for the right reasons and really interested in helping others without always needing like that, you know, hey, um, I'll help you, but I got to get something out of it. I think in this space, we're not there yet. So there are a lot of people willing to help people just for the sake of helping people. And definitely a good sense of community there. Master Brews recently launched NFTs. What's the utility of these collectibles and how can they help holders establish their careers? So our initial NFT drop, um, the initial mission behind it was to help onboard more artists into the space with a particular focus for artists who are from the, I would say, developing nations. Um, so maybe some artists who had no idea this space existed, no idea what an NFT was, no idea about the blockchain, and really kind of bring them in, bring diversity into the styles we were seeing. Um, for some of them who we continue to work with, it's been life changing. We have people from many parts of Africa um, from Asia, from a lot of different places, South America. And one thing we also tried to promote, and we got, you know, some amazing um, high profile artists who loved the idea and were willing to work with us on it. We had something we called Fairness of Compensation, where they were willing to do a piece for our collection for the same price that we were paying artists from, you know, Kenya or Vietnam or Mongolia, um, who had no name and no history and no anything, but still produced amazing art. So that was really cool that everyone got the same fee. Everyone got, it wasn't based on what you've done, who your name was, what country you were from, you know, what you could charge. Um, so that was something that a lot of people kind of took to and it built a lot of good relationships for us early on. Um, as far as the utility of the NFT, it's pivoted a lot. Um, our initial promises were to build certain tech services that we pivoted away from for one reason or another. But at the end of the day, Every day, we're still thinking of our original holders, our long-term holders. Um, a lot of them, you know, we haven't marketed because we've been focused on building stuff and developing the games and products. A lot of them have kind of gone dormant. So our active community, these guys are passionate. They've been there over a year now holding. Um, we try to do everything we can for them as far as relaying information, being, you know, transparent with them, giving them whatever we can in value, um, whether it's with partnerships, whether it's with um, free promotions, free giveaways, meantime, but it's always in our mind that we want to honor our original promise to them and we still have a plan for it. And, you know, hopefully all goes well. And when the time comes, these people will be extremely well rewarded for believing in us in day one. Um, we know it's a long time to be a holder already as it's over a year, uh, but we feel like the group we have, they're, they're really great people. And we like to call a lot of them friends at this point. So. Awesome, awesome. Now, when it comes to game development, a lot of tools by your company can be used without the need for coding. How can artists or creators benefit from these tools? So the idea is that we want to make 
everything have a low barrier to entry. Um, it shouldn't be a financial entry point. It shouldn't be a point of friction. It shouldn't be anything. So for example, we're going to build an API uh, blockchain as a service API that people can plug in in minutes if they want to be able to do their own dynamic NFTs. Um, that's something we specialize in. A lot of people know that we pioneered the concept with Welps as far as provably random on-chain uh, evolving NFTs. But that's just one category. We have a lot of ideas, a lot of stuff that we still haven't seen out that hasn't been done. Um, so we've been working on putting all these into a package and then offering it as a service. So this is something we feel like is going to help both small creators as well as major game studios um, who want a robust solution where it's something that's going to be available, for example, as a Unity SDK, as a verified partner. It's going to be available by REST APIs. And it's really something people can work with out of the box. So that's one of our uh, main new focuses right now, uh, as well as a couple other things. Like I said, unfortunately, I wish I could share more on two of them, but um, we have to keep them tight lipped for now. So always got to leave the audience yeah. wanting more anyway. Yeah. <laughs> so that's always good showbiz advice. How far do you think Web3 will go in the gaming industry? And what professions do you think will become more active in this space? Um, well, I really think at some point Web3 is just going to be, you know, a term not even used anymore. And I think blockchain is going to be so standard that it's also not going to be used anymore. Um, so for example, if a game right now, a video game leverages a database, right? Gamers have no idea which database they're using. They don't care, right? They don't care where it's hosted. Um, these are details they don't care. It just they play the game, they have fun, they want to see the game works. And that's exactly where we're going to go with blockchain in the future. It's going to be the, in my opinion, and Master Brew's opinion, the de facto standard for basically everything to do with the internet. It's, it's the next phase. So whether you're a ticket master and, you know, instead of having a ticket on your smartphone, you're still going to do that, but probably it'll be backed by blockchain technology to prevent fraud, for example. And as far as games go, um, I don't think we're going to be hearing things called blockchain games in the future. They're just going to be called games, like right. point blank. Exactly. People can't explain the internet, but they use it every day. So it's a similar yeah. <laughs> type of ubiquitous phenomenon. Now, as a member of Blockchain Game Alliance, what is your company's goal in joining the community? And why do you think other startups and individuals as well should join? So it's absolutely by far, so far, the number one resource we found for networking and making connections. Um, so regardless of what your goal is, it could be fundraising, it could be looking for collabs and partnerships, could be looking for brands and IPs to license, could be looking for services, um, or maybe it's just you like talking on podcasts. Um, whatever, whatever it may be, I feel like it is the best hub in the space right now. And we've tried a few others um, who I'm not going to mention. We didn't feel we got value out of them the same way we're getting immediate and consistent value in the BGA. So for us, it, it's easy to recommend it because from day one, we saw immediate returns and it's facilitated connecting us with a lot of people we otherwise wouldn't have reached. Awesome. What message would you like to give aspiring creators, developers, and NFT Studio 24 viewers? Um, don't give up. <laughs> it's even as, you know, I would consider us a successful company in the space. We definitely have gone on the roller coaster ride of very, very high highs and very low lows. Um, so we have noticed a lot of people, including you know, some former clients or some friends who really just kind of thought everything is over and jumped out and went back to Web 2 or went back to everything. But no, I think um, if you have a passion for it, you find something you like and you think your idea is valid, stick with it, keep with it. We're in a bear market right now. Everyone knows that. Um, I still think we're going to be in a bear through 2023 or at least most of it. But I do think if you're able to, you know, it's hard now, but if you're able to build things now, you're going to be one of those with a major chance of success around 2024, like around when things fully shift into Web3. So. Awesome, awesome. I, you I apologize for my dog. That dog. You need to let him in yeah. or something? I don't know. He's just uh, hearing a mailman outside or something. Okay, sounds good. <laughs> Not a problem. Okay, now it's time for our rapid fire questions. It's kind of like our lightning round, okay? We're looking for a short responses about five seconds or so. So what are your predictions for Bitcoin prices in 2023? I'm around 15,000 US, uh, plus or minus 20%. What will the metaverse look like in the year 2050? 
Um, I'll be long gone, I think, but <laughs> rapid answer, AI will control everything in it. Um, there'll be a lot of AI generated content and people will be hooking in through what you see in sci-fi movies, essentially, as far as, you know, really advanced VR. Amazing. Do you think Web3 will be massively adopted over the next five years? Absolutely. Do you think the utility of NFT will change over the next decade? Absolutely. Yeah. Uh, I think right now it's just scratching the surface. Sounds great. Keith, Keith Bussey of Master Brews, thank you so much for joining us here on NFT Studio 24. Yeah, thank you, Logan. It was a great time and uh, look forward to doing it again Monday. My pleasure. And to the folks at home, be sure to subscribe, like, and comment for more exclusive content on nftstudio24.com. Thanks.